one of the challenges for me was to try and make the saxophone sound as unsaxophony as possible. To try and make it sound, because I'm trying to sort of like on that album, I was trying to make it sound like a cross between a guitar and the vocals, really, more than the saxophone, because I know it because it's got those vocal qualities. I feel it's underused in in rock rock and roll. Um, I mean, at the moment, I'm just in I'm in search of the sort of perfect pop song. You know, I mean, most of the time I'm in search of the perfect pop song, really. You know, the kind of just I'm listening to a lot of Bowie and Lou Reed and people like that, just because they were able to come up with these songs that were so bright and cheerful and so dark at the same time, so concise and just having all the different parameters in one really short, concise um, piece is kind of what I, what I'm trying to strive towards. It's just like I remember watching. I watched the Ramones um, DVD, End of the Century, and there's a bit in that where they were sort of saying, "Why are your tunes so short?" You know, because they did two minute songs, and they're like, "Well, people have got busy lives," you know. And that's sort of how I feel, really. So, you know, if everyone's busy, we haven't got time to sort of stand around. It's like other bands can do that, and I play in I play in various projects that are kind of a lot more ethereal and all that stuff, and that's great, you know. But for 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 us, I I kind of I really want it just to be straight to the point, um, and not not kind of flannel.